Hello there and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm thinking about doing a series on Premiere Pro, so if you're interested, like this video and let me know. But in today's video, we're going to be looking into how to stabilize a shaky video clip within Premiere Pro. So a lot of times you're out in the field and you're videoing something and you may think to yourself, my hand is steady or the tripod is fine, it's not shaking, but uh, obviously elements are out of your control and you may get back in front of your computer and see that a video clip that you want to use in your project is indeed shaky. There are a number of ways of fixing this in Premiere Pro, but the way that I like to use is with the tool or effect called Warp Stabilizer. So in order to fix shape, shaky clips, I almost said shapey, I don't know why I did that, but anyways, is you select the clip that you want to fix. So in my case here, I opened up a recent wedding video that I was working on, and in the opening scene, I added in a new clip that is a little shaky. So what I'm going to do is select that clip. So it's going to be this opening clip here. I'm going to go ahead and mute the volume so you can't hear the song. But if we go ahead and play this video back, you're going to see that it's a little shaky, a little up and down. You may not be able to notice it with the naked eye, but trust me, if you edit video long enough, you'll be able to see uh, shaky video from unshaky video. So what you're going to need to do is select the clip. So right here in the video one timeline track there, I'm going to select one of my clips that's called clip three. So I go ahead and select that there. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is go on over, navigate over to my effects panel underneath video effects, which is going to be right here. And then underneath the folder called distort, you're going to see something at the very bottom called warp stabilizer. If you're new with Premiere and you don't know how to add an effect to your clip, go on over and click and hold that specific effect that you want to use and then hover over the clip. And then you should see right there where the little hand is, it should be a closed fist. And then you should see a, a an addition symbol there to the lower right of that little hand icon. Let go. So what you're going to see next is a little blue thing that comes up that says analyzing in background. You can't really see it that well because my title's in the way, but if we move the title, you can see there where it says analyzing in background, step one of two. So depending on how large the clip is, it's going to take possibly a few minutes, even up to 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on again, how large the clip is and how good your machine is. I'm running on a fairly newer Mac Pro, so it shouldn't take that long, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where we are on the next step. And in step two, you're going to see something that says stabilizing. This should take again a few seconds. And then once that's done, the clip has now been stabilized. So now if we go back and we drag our playhead to the beginning of our clip and we press the space bar to play it back, what you're going to notice is that this clip has now been stabilized way more than what it was when we started. So you're seeing a little catching there. That's going to be the rendering of that video. But if you go back, render the video again, go and play it back, you're going to see a major difference in the stability of that clip. Now, if you have any questions about how to do this or anything else in Adobe Premiere Pro, please put that in the comments section below. I'll get to those as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys, as always, for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.